Dear Channel 4, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why don't you ever have me on that lovely Graham Norton show? Yours sincerely, Ann Robinson. Well, who are we to deny the queen of complaints? Ladies and gentlemen, Ann Robinson! <laughs> Gone to heaven. No, what? no. <laughs> you have to be careful. You could have had your eye out with one of them. You could. <laughs> Only the one they're on the right. Going, are they? Is that, no, no. They'll lurk there. They'll lurk there for you later. But now here you are. You're coming down our stairs. We're yeah. delighted to see you. Yeah. But presumably, I that... think you're even better looking in real life. You know. <laughs> uh, so no, I am delighted to see you there. <laughs> This, oh, and <laughs> oh. you like suit, though, too, don't yeah. you? It's... No, I'm not sure about the suit. <laughs> no, you can help me bring it back. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but presumably, not everyone is delighted to see you. I mean, what, how do people react when you walk into a shop and things? Um, they're quite frightened, actually. And my husband goes out of the shop because <laughs> he doesn't like anyone making a fuss. And do, he, do says, you... he says I go through life asking to see the manager. <laughs> So it comes quite naturally to you. It's like a vocation. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's true. I mean, always people who complain and make a fuss are always married to people who say, "Just don't leave it for now. Don't let's bother with it now. We'll see to it later." Do you get frightened yourself? Never, Graham. I'm quite scared because you're such a star being on this program tonight. But otherwise, I'm sensing <laughs> mocking. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you scary in the office? No. Sweetness and light. No, sweetness and light. As long as everyone does what I want, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> now, have, now, you, you do obviously do identify with, with the underdog. No, no, they're not underdogs. They're really intelligent people like your audience here tonight. They're not underdogs, are they? Well, <laughs> but, but, for instance, like you, there's a no, man out there. There's another Miles out there. Yeah, and, where's you know, he? well, he's the ginger man. <laughs> He's wearing a hat. Has he got ginger He's hat? wearing a hat, Anne. <laughs> now, are you, you don't look that ginger, but yet you are ginger, aren't you? Well, what, on Watchdog, it's probably not tonight, but on Watchdog, they have really strong lights on me, so you don't see all these lines down here, so the hair looks light. Have you had work done? No, <laughs> not yet. Do you think I should? I thought I should have some down there. But you are truly ginger. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's all mine. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, but I can, Fading fast. I can prove, I can prove that Anne is ginger. Yes, I can. Because, I because I have mini-cam. <laughs> <laughs> so that, you filthy-minded <laughs> crowd, I can take a close-up of this photograph. Now, you, you are so ginger, you've blended into colourful furniture. <laughs> Deeply ginger, yeah, yeah. Deeply ginger. Yeah, yeah. Very strange. Yeah. And, but now... Where did you get that? I don't know. Oh. Well, no, we got another one as well. Do you want to see Have the you? other one? Yeah, go on. No, the other one's very yeah. cute. Actually, you look like... You oh, look like a bit of a... people, it's like we're seeing my holiday snap. You look what like a bit of a Daniel O'Donnell fan in this one. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's Anne. <laughs> Cap <laughs> Captain of the steamboat. <laughs> For one brief second, one brief <laughs> second in your life, you did think you wanted to be an actress. Oh, yes, I did. And then I thought I ought to do something that uh, was... I'm going to choose my words carefully here. Was very intelligent as well, so I thought I'd become a journalist. But that it was a really good decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! He's woken up. <laughs> <laughs>